to the Poetry Moment, featuring Maxine Cuman's poem, Praise Be. I'm Shania Hudson. For three weeks one spring, poet Maxine Cuman camped out in her drafty New Hampshire barn, sleeping on a pile of sawdust bedding and waiting for her mare to give birth. Horses are pregnant for nearly a year, and this mare was long overdue. So when the birth finally happened, Cuman chronicled her joy in this poem, Praise Be, which is also what she named the filly who was born that day. Cuman was a true horsewoman who pushed around enormous animals and cared devotedly for her horses. A full birth on any farm is a celebration, but in this poem, Cuman turns the miracle into a revelation, almost a blessing. In an interview on Hoko Polizzo's The Writing Life, Cuman said she later trained the foal, or as she writes in her poem, the whole astonished filly to pull her in a carriage. Cuman taught poetry at MIT, Princeton, and Columbia Universities, served as the nation's consultant in poetry to the Library of Congress in the 1980s, and was New Hampshire's poet laureate for five years. A Pulitzer winner, memoirist, and passionate advocate for farming, Cuman started writing poetry as a child, but she truly launched herself in the poetry world in her 30s at a Boston Center for Adult Education writing workshop. Most of Cuman's poetry centers on the 200 acre farm where she raised horses, dogs, and her children. Some critics have even called her Roberta Frost after fellow New England poet, Robert Frost, who wrote such poems as The Road Less Traveled and Mending Wall. Cuman compares the work on a farm to her writing life. She said, the garden has to be attended every day, just as the horses have to be tended to, not just every day, but morning, noon, and night. The writing, I think, exerts the same kind of discipline. A day without sitting down at my desk seriously is a day full of guilt. I think of myself as a Jewish Calvinist, you know? Salvation through grace, grace through good works, and working is good. Just that simple. I wouldn't trade this life for any other. And now, Praise Be by Maxine Cuman. Praise Be. 11 months, two weeks in the womb, and this one sticks a foreleg out, frail as a dowel, quivering in the unfamiliar air. And then the other leg cocked at the knee at first, then straightening, and here's the head, a big blind fish thrashing inside its see-through sack. And for a moment the panting mare desists, lies still as death. I tear the call, look into eyes as innocent, as skittery as minnows. Three heaves, the shoulders pass. The hips emerge, fluid as snakes, the hind legs trail out glistering. The whole astonished filly, still attached, draws breath and whinnies a treble tremolo that leaps in her mother, who nickers a low-key response. Let them prosper, the dams and their sucklings. Let nothing inhibit their heedless growing. Let them raise up on sturdy pasterns and trot out in light summer rain onto the long, lazy, unfenced fields of heaven. That's